Chiswick Book Festival 2018 and as always we'll be seeing a plethora of authors across the event. This year that includes Anthony Horowitz with his latest Bond book. Can you give us a little bit more insight as to uh, what's in the book? It's James Bond and this is Bond a few months before Casino Royale. So this is my second James Bond novel. The first one, Trigger Mortis, took place sort of mid-career around the time of Goldfinger and for the second one I decided to go back to the beginning as it were. This is him getting his license to kill and just before for his first known mission, which is the mission, of course, written by Fleming. Very exciting. And, and also, what does it feel like to be commissioned to write these books by the Ian Fleming estate? Extraordinary, exciting, a sense of I finally arrived. I mean, I've been a Bond fan since I was 10 years old. Uh, I can show you, actually. I should have bring it out right straight away. But in here, this is, the, this is my James Bond book oh. from when I was 10 years old. This is... Um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. This is Dr. No, uh, uh, done at about the time of the film. It's all falling to pieces now. And if you look at it very carefully there, that's my 10-year-old signature on the cover to say wow. this book is mine. And this sort of talisman just sort of in indicates how important Bond was to me throughout my writing life. Alex mm. Ryder came out of James Bond. And so um, how did I feel? Fantastic. That's absolutely incredible. So you must, it must feel like, you know, obviously you've had so many um, highs of your career before this, but it must feel just even that little bit better to write something that's so, so close to your heart. I love all my writing. You know, writing Alex Ryder, for example, has mm. been a fantastic journey for me. Very much, you know, uh, inspired by Bond. Uh, and to, to write for young people gives me a fantastic buzz. To write Bond or to write Sherlock Holmes, A House of Silk or Moriarty, that's a different sort of pleasure as well. Or to write the Hawthorne novels, which is what I'm doing now. Every single book gives me a huge buzz, and they are all sort of different, but I like it equally. And, and how did you discover writing? Because obviously you've written for um, the screen as well, and it's, it must be a very different style of writing. Um, how did I discover writing? Well, when I was 10 years old, I quickly became aware that I was no good at anything except telling stories. I was stuck in a boarding school in North London. I was very unhappy there. Most of the children there were unhappy too. And um, I entertained them by telling them stories at night and discovered that although I was no good at geography, French, maths, Latin, sport or anything really, I was really good at telling stories. And that's what I've done ever since. And, and how different is it to write for the screen? Did you discover the screen first or was it, was it about writing books in, the, in your early career? My career began writing books. The first books I wrote were children's books. I still to this day don't quite know why, but I did. And from there I moved into television, a show called Robin of Sherwood with Jason Connery, and I wrote that. And the differences between writing books and writing television are myriad. I mean, how long do you have? But I prefer to harbour, to, 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 to stay with the similarities, which is narrative drive, story, character, excitement, adventure, pace, that's what defines my writing, whether it's book or television or film or even theatre. Um, different techniques, but a similar philosophy. Well, thank you so much for joining us um, and, yeah, enjoy your time on the stage. I'm looking forward to it, thanks.